This is a flip through of a Creative Haven book called Celtic Animal Designs, Adult Coloring Book by Carrie Buziak. Like all Creative Haven books, we get a picture of one of, uh, we get one of the pictures inside here colored here to give us an idea of what they look like. We also get one here and we have half of one on the back and again we have a partial one on the front. So then we have the title page and all the pages in here are perforated. The pictures are on a double-sided sorry, are, are single-sided with plain white backgrounds. We'll just read what it says here. This charming collection of 31 origi original Celtic illustrations features animals that frequently appear in stone, metal, and embroidery designs, as well as old Celtic manuscripts like the Book of Kells and the Lindisfarne Gospels. Intricate designs of cranes, eagles, fish, foxes, hounds, and more are interwoven with a mix of geometric shapes, maze patterns, and beautiful images of flower pe petals, leaves, shamrocks, and shells. And I think that these are just absolutely beautiful. Now, I will tell you at this point that I did one. I, well, I started to do one in here and I made a right mess of it. So I did tear the page out. I'm not going to show it to you because it's just a disaster of coloring. So I did tear one out. So we're only going to see the 30. I have two pages colored in here. One is this one, which I went way too dark with the colors for on it. So I wasn't so pleased with it, but I enjoyed the coloring process. As you can see, this is what the back of the pages look like when you use alcohol markers. All of the pictures are inside frames, and then actually they have a frame around them. So you get the frame that the picture's in, and then you'll have a little frame around the edge that you can color in as well. Uh, the paper's white and the ink is black. Some of the designs will have some black parts to them, but not very many do. This is the one that I colored and I used Spectrum Noir markers. This one turned out much better than, <laughs> than previous ones. And you can see that well, this one doesn't quite have a border. It's got, it's got open spaces in it, but it does have the border going around. And then here is the outside frame. They're all in similar type of uh, frames. They're kind of the grouping of them that are the same. Some have squares in the centers of them and some have circles in the center of them. But there is a wide variety of patterns and Celtic work and animals and such um, incorporated into these. Some are quite detailed, such as this one right here, and then there are a few of the uh, simpler ones. Though I would say that this book is uh, for uh, moderate to advanced colorists. Here we go. This would be one of the simpler ones. Another quite detailed one. Some of the animals are hard to tell what they are, such as this right here. Not sure if that's supposed to be a dog or some kind of 
forest animal or something, then it's quite easy to recognize the rabbits in the top and the bottom. I like this design. There's not too many that go vertically. But when you get the ones that have um, circles and squares in the center, it's kind of like a mandala uh, way of going about it. Ah, here we have some, bo some boxes all going vertically. That's an interesting framework for that one. This one looks quite complicated. I think this is the one that was colored on the inside front cover. And there we have it. And once again, this is Celtic Animal Designs by Carrie Buziak, and it is a Creative Haven book.